Most of us are used to learning and playing scales through patterns spanning all six strings of the guitar, such as this three notes per string major scale pattern. But it's also important to be able to play confidently across one string to give your solos a mix of horizontal and vertical movement. The ideal is to get to the stage where you can play into or out of any pattern or position using single strings, using your knowledge of the scale's interval sequence. Now before we get to know some techniques we can use to navigate single strings, we need to be confident with playing through scales on one string. Start with the open string roots. Let's say we were playing the E major scale. So our open E note will be the root and we'd play the scale up to the 12th fret octave. Using half and whole steps, we can visualize the scale formula as whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. We can of course also repeat the same pattern from the 12th fret. We could also play the same E major scale sequence on the low E string. If we were playing B major, we'd use the second string as our open root. For G major, we'd use the third string as our open root. See if you can do the same for the D and A roots corresponding to the D and A strings. Next, try and find the open root on other strings. So going back to E major, we should know that E also exists on the B string at the 5th fret, from which we can play the scale using our knowledge of its interval sequence. On the G string, E can be found at the 9th fret. Again, we should be able to play the scale from this position. If you're not yet confident with locating notes on different strings like this, go through the fretboard lessons on fretjam.com for a quick primer. As a quick test, see if you can play E flat major on the B string. Remember to start by finding the root of E flat on the B string and then work out the interval sequence from there. So whatever scale you're practicing, first try locating the root note on random strings and playing the scale sequence across that string. There are some exercises to help you with this on the lesson page associated with this video. Spend time getting confident with playing scales across single strings in different keys. If you know the scale well enough, you should be able to play along the string by ear, listening to the intervals as you play them. This ear skill is powerful as it will translate into other areas of playing. As you practice this, be aware of how your position on the neck relates to different scale positions. For example, Going back to E major, here I play down the E string to the third position pattern for some vertical movement. It's called the third position not because of the fret, but because the lowest note in the pattern is the third tone of the scale. And then back up through the G string to the 6th position pattern. Hopefully you can see how using these horizontal single string movements can help you move more fluidly across the fretboard and connect other patterns. It can provide you with a quick melodic route to different parts of the fretboard. This technique also allows you to extend your melodies to higher frets for those climactic moments, such as this example resolving on B minor. Combine these horizontal single string movements with runs and licks that you already know. For example, here's a combo in E Phrygian dominant, or A harmonic minor, whichever way you look at it.
Now, once you're confident with navigating scales across single strings, there are a number of techniques we can use to make our single string playing faster and more interesting. We'll look at those in the next part. In the meantime, visit the lesson page for exercises based on what we've covered in this video. Cheers.